Hello again. We'll be exploring the principle of anticipation, action, reaction in Maya. We are going to be using a simple sphere, same as the bouncing ball. The main goal is to keep it simple and then go to uh, ahead and then explore this principle as much as we can with the less trouble that we can get into and that would be using the sphere. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the shelf to get that sphere right here. And then the only change that I, I'll be making to that sphere, I'm going to go ahead to the front view viewport and then display the axis by pressing the uh, W key right there and then I want to move that axis if I press the D key in Mac I can move the axis so this is my pivot point uh, for the uh, PC users you guys can use the insert key and then make sure that you guys have the uh, grid option here selected that is the snap to grid option so go ahead now and then move it down to the bottom of the sphere let go the grid now and then just move the, the sphere up you can make that uh, one on the channel box right here so there's no fractions at this point so what i'm looking for in this case it is that every time that's, that it squashed the sphere it is doing it from that pivot point instead of from the center of the sphere this would make it easier for me and then for this assignment also so that, that is just one simple change, but it has um, a complete ripple effect on what's going to happen with the animation. Now the second step that I will do here is just to create a quick scenario, a quick layout. So I'll be getting here the box, grow that to the side. So this is, I'm just going to build like a, something like a cliff, something like a platform that I can go and animate the ball going jumping actually from one side to the other one so I can just have that as a floor uh, get that to 0.5 so actually uh, minus 0.5 right there yeah that would work and then duplicating that one with a uh, command D or you can also go to the edit menu and then go to the duplicate uh, command right there uh, so once you duplicate, just just get it to the other side. Go back to the perspective uh, angle here, camera. So now you have a nice space in between, so that our ball can actually go from one side to the other one. I mean, just make them bigger like that. I move that one like this, and the same goes from uh, this one. So just do the same. Just spread them apart. That would be okay for now doesn't have to be as precise so far and then get a nice camera angle for the the action so what's gonna happen now it is that I'll be getting my drawing tool right here well the idea is that the ball and the layout what I want is that the ball should be jumping from one side uh, maybe having one hop right there just to keep it simple it's gonna go up and then land somewhere here and then have that settle so that, that is that is a complete action that I want. So when, when I am uh, getting the camera into the best angle I'm, I'm trying to visualize all that as, as best as I can because there's no uh, animation so far and this is something that at the end of the animation will be working on just finessing the camera. So something like this for the moment will work. Something like that is okay. Uh, what's important it is that we grab the camera here and then go to the channel box uh, click on the first one go all the way down and shift click on the last one so you're gonna grab all the elements or the attributes the camera has later uh, go uh, right click right here and then go lock selected so when you lock selected you're gonna see that all the channel box goes gray from here all the way down to all the attributes and what that what that is doing is that it is not allowing us to move the camera anymore even if we want to so that's a nice way of uh, pro protecting the camera uh, 